When I was a child, my father pastored at a small church in the suburb area of South Korea. And it was a church of about 20 members. And I still remember the day when we first moved into this town and everybody in this town knew of each other. And I was trying to take a walk in this town and every elderly that I met questioned me with the exact same thing. And their question was, whose son are you? In other words, who's your father? And I was questioned this for three months. Today our passage from Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52, we have a, a character named Bartimaeus who is a blind beggar. He is identified as a son of Timus. In fact, his name Bartimaeus consists of an Aramaic word Bar, which means a son of. So Bar Timaeus means a son of Timus. Bar Timaeus is simply a son of Timus. And he doesn't have a name. He's not identified his own name. Is identified as a son of someone. And in the Bible, we see a similar thing happen with the name Bartholomew, a name like Barabbas. Perhaps all these people were known by their father, perhaps could have been famous, well-known in this town. Today, a blind beggar who was identified by a well-known father sitting on the side of the street. Many would have walked by him and told him, only if you were like your father. Or somebody could have said, you're just like your father. In our passage, verse 47 says this, And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. A beggar, a blind man, known by his father's name, disapproved, nameless, unknown, oftentimes humiliated, called out the Son of David, Jesus, have mercy on me. This was when Jesus was uh, coming from Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd. Jesus could have missed him easily. Verse 51 says, And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. Who are you today in this story? Are you this unknown blind beggar, Bartimaeus? Or are you one of the disciples who had rebuked Bartimaeus and put him to be silent? Or are you one of this great crowd who were seeking a miraculous sign. Brothers and sisters, I pray that you would be the one kneeling before the Son of God, asking and begging for God's mercy. And I hope you are the one who's hearing God's question. What do you want me to do for you today? You know, for some of us, our life is like an, ex an experience of shattering glass. Stock markets crashing, some are losing jobs, some are at home depressed, some perhaps are going through a time of financial crisis, businesses closing down for weeks. When something like this happened in our nation, we're gonna see increase in depression, increase in the number of domestic violence cases. We are perhaps going to see an increase in suicide level. What shall we do 
in the midst of this. You know, we can be praying for so many things. We can be praying for those who are uh, fighting against the virus in the, in the medical field. We can be praying for those who are suffering because of infection. We can be praying for those who are lonely, maybe those who are um, international students may not have a home to go to. We can be praying for so many things. But if our Father, who would not leave us like orphans, would come at us right now and ask, What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you today? And I would say this one thing before God. Father, would you use this chance, would you use this time to make us to turn to you? Father, would you make this a chance for the entire nation to repent before you and turn our eyes to you, Christ Jesus, who is the hope of all nations. Father, would you turn those eyes who are lonely, who are sick, would you make them to seek for you? And I think that would be my prayer before God. If God asks you one thing today, what do you want me to do for you? What would you say? Jesus and the disciples and the great crowd were leaving Jericho. They were coming from Jericho. Jericho is known for a sinful city, a city filled with disobedience. If you are walking towards Jericho, I urge your brothers and sisters, turn away from Jericho, walk away from Jericho. This is your chance where you can pray before God, kneel before Him when He asks you, what do you want me to do for you today? And you would simply say, Father of heaven and earth, would you turn me away from Jericho this morning? May that be a blessing word to you, an encouragement for you. I ask that you would come and kneel with me before Christ this morning. God bless you.